Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module seven, lesson five. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says I can apply the properties of addition to add fractions and mix numbers. And the learning objective says add fractions and mix numbers with unlike denominators using properties. The prior learning is that students recognized and generated equivalent fractions and students applied properties of addition to add fractions and mix numbers with like denominators. Before we move into the lesson, I do want to go over the vocabulary of this lesson and that's found here. The associative property of addition means that you can group fractions together with like denominators. So it's very similar to if you have common denominators, adding them together, that is called the associative property of addition. The communicative property of addition means you can rearrange the order of fractions because you're adding, it doesn't matter the order, but you can like switch two fractions um, to help your problem, okay? So, Moving into the lesson on page 167, we have our first problem in number one that says, as Priya plays a computer game, the experience bar fills to show her experience level. The bar fills to one fifth before completing a level. After completing the level, the bar fills another three fifths. As a bonus, it fills an additional one tenth. What is her experience level now? Okay, so for A, it says write an addition expression to model the situation. I have three numbers here. I have a one-fifth, I have a three-fifths, and I have a one-tenth. And we know that we're doing the properties of addition, so everything we're going to be doing in this lesson is going to be adding. Okay, it already gives me the one-fifth, so the next problem, the next number in the problem it gives me is three-fifths, and then the one after it gives me is one-tenth. So I'm just filling in the blanks here. In B, it says, based on the expression you wrote in part A, how can you use the commutative property of addition and associative property of addition or both properties to help you find the sum? Okay, so remember that the associative property means that you can group like fractions together. So I'm just going to say group. And then for the commutative property, you can um, rearrange or change the order. All right, so for C, it says use the properties of addition to group the fractions with like denominators together. Okay, so in that problem, my one-fifth and my three-fifths have the same denominator. So I'm going to put them together on the longer line. So I have my one-fifth plus my three-fifths, and then separately I have my one-tenth. All right, so for D it says find the sum of the fractions in the parentheses. And those are supposed to have parentheses around them. So find the sum of the fractions in the parentheses. So my one-fifth plus three-fifths is going to be four-fifths plus my one-tenth. Okay, so now for E, it says write equivalent fractions with like denominators. So between 5 and 10 is my denominators. What is my common denominator? It's going to be 10 because I can multiply 5 to be 10. So my denominator is going to be 10. From 5 to 10, I'm multiplying by 2. My numerator already there is 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. And I'm going to keep my 1 tenth since the denominator is already 10. Find the sum, so add them together. 8 tenths plus 1 tenth is going to be 9 tenths. So what is Priya's experience level now? It's going to be 9 tenths of the bar. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next page on page 168. We're just going to be doing above the dotted line. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Number two says add one and five ninths plus three and five six plus one and two ninths. A, you want to use the commutative property of addition to put the fractions with the same denominator next to each other. Then B, use the associative property of addition in parentheses to group the fractions with like denominators together. C, add the terms located inside the parentheses. 
then write equivalent fractions with like denominators, and then find the sum, rename if needed. So you're just following those same steps that we did on the prior page. All right, go ahead and try these few problems and then come back so we can solve them together. All right, great job. Let's go ahead and go through these problems together. So for A, it says use the commutative property of addition. And remember, that's just changing the order. So I want to put the fractions with the same denominators next to each other. All right, and I notice that I have two denominators with a 9. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do my 1 whole and my 5 ninths. And I'm going to put my 1 and 2 ninths next to it. Then I'm going to put the 1 with the denominator of 6 after. So 3 and 5 sixths. Okay, so if now for B, use the associative property of addition in parentheses to group the fractions with like denominators together. So all I'm going to be doing is I'm grouping that 1 and 5 ninths plus my 1 and 2 ninths together because they have common denominators, and then my 3 and 5 sixths is going to be separate. So now I'm going to be adding the terms located inside of the parentheses. Okay, so when I add them together, um, the 1 plus 1 is going to be two holes, and then my numerators, 5 plus 2 are 7 with my denominator of nine. Then I'm going to, again, add that three and five sixths. All right, so for D, write equivalent fractions with like denominators. So between nine and six, what would my common denominator be, right? I can't multiply anything by six to be nine, so I have to do nine times something. Let's start with nine times two, which is 18. Can I multiply anything by six to be 18? Yes, I can, and that's gonna be three. So I'm going to have a whole number of 2 with a denominator of 18 plus a whole number of 3 with a denominator of 18. I'm going from 9 to 18. That means I multiply it by 2. My numerator already there is 7. So 7 times 2 is 14. All right. And then from 6 to 18, 6, 12, 18, I'm multiplying by 3. The numerator already there was 5, so 5 times 3 is 15. All right, now I need to actually find the sum and add them all together. The whole numbers, 2 plus 3 would be 5. My denominator is going to be 18, and those numerators together, when I add them, 14 plus 15 is going to be 29. All right, 29 over 18 is an improper fraction, so we do need to rename so when I do 29 over 18, that equals to one whole, right? It would be one whole with a little bit left over. So that one whole is going to boost my 5 to a 6. So now I have six holes, and all I'm going to be doing is taking away 18 from 29 because the 18 over 18 equals one whole, and I boosted that one from the 5 to the 6. So now if I took that 18 out of 18 away from my 29, all I have left is 11. So 5 and 29 over 18 is equal to 6 and 11 eighteenths. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems, and I will see you back here for Module 7, Lesson 6.